we are in San Diego at the Business Excellence Forum and with me today is Travis Bell, keynote speaker at the conference and the bucket this guy really. Yes. Welcome Trav. Thanks buddy. Thanks. Great to uh, catch up, have a chat. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So, bucket list. Now I remember, when did I come across you? A couple of years back in South Africa. Yeah. And I really loved your story about how the whole bucket list guy started. Let the audience know how you really came up with the whole bucket list. Well, I didn't actually, here's a story a lot of people don't know, is a lot of people don't know that someone actually called me the bucket list guy. So I was, my previous business history uh, was I was a founder, franchisor of a chain of personal training studios around Australia. I actually had a business coach, action coach, for two years to get me to franchise the business. I went from one operator to then a chain of personal training studios around Australia. Grew it into a monster. And uh, all sorts of things going on in the business, as you'd be well aware of business growth, and I, I just, the business model just didn't suit my sort of personality, and I went through a bit of depression, when I say a bit of depression, depression, and found myself in a pretty sad place. And I'm tipping a lot of listeners, watchers, people that follow you would recognize uh, people around them that would have gone through a similar thing. And as a result, you know, um, I found myself in seminars. I like to say I was a seminar junkie, but now I'm a dealer. <laughs> It's a crappy joke. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, someone said to me, it was really interesting, you should, you're in these seminars all the time, why don't you teach this stuff? You love motivating people, mm. which I do. Um, for me, it's coaching one to many as a speaker. I've got no fear around public speaking. It just doesn't compute, like there's no fear. Um, and you should share your message, you should get out there and do this thing. And it helped me actually compartmentalise what I was going through. It helped me put a lot, nice little bow around it. So I went, bugger it, I'm going to do this. I um, put on a really crappy seminar. Um, I nearly had to pay people to be in the room. <laughs> we've been there. <laughs> yeah, we've been there. And, uh, and about halfway through, I started talking about my list to do before I die, the one that I had since I was 18. Not a lot of people knew that about me. And I said, you know, who's got one of these lists to do before you die? You know, because that's, that's ultimately the, what you want to run your life by, mm. you know. Find a vehicle, find a business, find a whatever that you're passionate about. Make sure it spits out the time flow and the cash flow for you to do the cool stuff that you want to do in life. And uh, surveyed the audience and they went, no, nah, I haven't got a list. I went, really? I'm the only freak in the room. So... Um, I then went, well, what do you want to do? Like, seriously, oh, no one's really asked us that. Kind of weird. This is like eight years ago. Mm. And, um, and then at the end of it, everyone, you know, got hyped up, motivated, started sharing, and uh, someone at the end of it, Joe, she said, um, has all this, you know, list to do before you die stuff. It's like a bucket list. You're like the bucket list guy. And I went, hmm. That sounds really good, actually, didn't it? Oh. Yeah, I think they call it in, in uh, well, this is post-internet boom, mm -hmm. and as you know, mate, you, you've got to stand out from the crowd in business, especially online business. And I was going really online. You know, I've read the four-hour work week four times, and, and I was like going to, you know, run the business from the hammock, Tim Ferriss style, and uh, be a complete digital nomad because I I'd had the bricks and mortar business. I want to go fully online and escaped. And, you know, I went home and registered that domain, um, and it just felt right, you know, as, as we've discussed before. Yeah, it just totally. felt right. It mm. felt like my whole values, uh, everything that I'm about, all the adventure and fun that I love to have, it's given me license to be as crazy as I've always kind of been. Yeah. And so, um, plus I can write my bucket list off on tax. But um, at the end of the day, <laughs> at, the end of the sh at the end of the day, it is me. And, uh, you know, when I... In this day and age, rising above the noise in business is so important. You know, I think gone are the days maybe of the Jim Rowan, the Tony Robbins, the Les mm. Browns, where they traded off their name pre-internet. Now we've got to do something a little bit different. And we need to be up to speed with the times because it's changing so much. Oh, mate, you know, like, and, and there's so many people in our space that talk about what we talk about: mm. business, personal development, etc., etc. So you've got to unicorn yourself somehow, and you've got to be able to climb that 
celebrity ladder, if there is one, um, without putting yourself out there on Instagram too much, but uh, you know, you've got to rise above the noise. It's so important. That personal branding is everything. And uh, for me, it just felt right. I registered the domain and I, I was on the Google machine and I was like, all right, who's like the buck, king of bucket list in the world? Who's like the authority, the expert? Oh look, no one. So I called myself, ladies and gentlemen, the world's number one bucket list expert. No one else did, so here we are. And it's been a, a, an amazing ride ever since. And it's interesting, isn't it, that when you focus on saying, and you'd say, that's what I'm gonna be, that's who you become. Yeah, and, and Big Corp, being the world's number one bucket list expert, uh, you know, it's just given me a whole nother um, new level to strive for, you know, big shoes to fill. I, I, I built the shoes, and so it's opened up a lot of doors, mate. It, it, but it is it is me, it, it, you know, people, people know me for, as you do, people know me for walking my talk. Yeah, I think you that's know, really and important. And that's so important. It, it's crucial. But it's also crucial that people do actually have a bucket list. And I'll tell you what's really frightening, is that a majority of business owners I come across, they don't have the bucket list, they have the fuck it list. <laughs> they have the list of all the shit they don't want in their life. There goes my next question, ladies and gentlemen, if we can swear on camera, so you've just given a license there. No, we have, look, because you know, at the start, remember I spoke yesterday and yeah. I showed my video clip. And normally, because we've got a bit of a Christian group over here, we've got to watch our P's and Q's and maybe the list, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, everywhere though. Yeah, and, and I play my video, I've been to Mount Everest, I've done Ironmans and all this other sh And then I sometimes bring it on, I go, who's just created a fuck it list? That, that, that's like, um, you've looked at all the stuff that I've done, you've gone, fuck that. <laughs> so, yes. But it is, it's surprising how many people are out there on the grind whether it's a self-imposed prison or a prison that they find themselves in corporate, you know, in they the stop dreaming. Mates. They stop dreaming. Mate, we've got a, you know, Monday itis. We've got Hump Day, not the Hump Day that you wish it, we wish it all was. Uh, thank God it's Friday. You know, it's the Matrix, yeah. and um, it's that, you know, sinking feeling at two or three in the afternoon on a Sunday. Oh my God, here we go again. Mouse in the wheel, and so. You know, I want to wake people up, and, and don't get me started about the rates of depression and the overprescription of antidepressants, and that's and not just in in guys like us, it's or everywhere. me, freaking teenagers, mate. And you know, like, like, I'm not a I, 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 everything that I do is based on positive psychology. Um, it, it's just a cool spin, you know, in terms of the bucket mm. list. It, but we start, we, we sort of start with the end in mind. The whole theory is we start with the end in mind. We start with death. We start talking about that, get it out in the open, and go, what do you seriously want to do before you kick the bucket? And then reverse engineer that. All right, well, if I want to go here, if I want to do this, I want to join that, run that, you know, climb that. All right, cool. What are you going to do? Let's, let's, I think the holy grail is, is uh, finding something cool to fund it, to give you yeah. the time flow and the cash flow that doesn't do your head in on a day-to-day -day basis, that hits your values, and I think that's the holy grail. But then when you find saying, the thing is, most of these people don't know truly what they want to do, no. therefore they're not prepared to make the changes necessary to then say, okay, do you know what, this, I want this really that bad, what do I need to do to get it? I mean, and Elizabeth mm. McCormick... It's not just one, more, one thing, it's no, not just no. one thing. I like to put a shot of carrots out there because, um, you know, I'm doing like six things on my bucket list right now. You know, like, and, and my wish for everyone, I've got that 12 step you know, system blueprint that we help people create a meaning, a personally meaningful and holistic bucket list called the My Bucket List Blueprint. When people go through that, they realize that I've got a shitload of whys now, mm. not just one. Simon Sinek said, find your one why. No, bullshit, no, it's a load shitload. Of them. shitload. I mean, look, at, and look, it, look at here, we're at Coronado, mm. probably one of the most historic hotels yeah. in America. We're here for the 130th anniversary yeah. on probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the area. Yeah, and it's freezing cold. And it's freezing cold. <laughs> it's, like, it's like fucking uh, London out there. <laughs> but it's a bucket list location. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not the point. Yeah, yeah, the point is yeah. it is a bucket list location. <laughs> Absolutely. So how do you help people actually start creating that bucket list? Because this is the thing. There's a lot of people that tuning in they're thinking, yeah, it's all very good having a bucket list, but where do I start? 
Look, it's really easy. I mean, I've done a TED talk around this. Life's mm. too short, Trav Bell. Um, so that's one place to start. Download the TED talk. Yep, yep. It's just there on YouTube. Um, I'm the guy with the crazy mohawk. I just realised that this, is this event is this sponsored by Oakley today, or we're uh, we're matching, bro? Yeah, I know. I do believe they're both in this glasses. <laughs> we need to get that corporate sponsorship in. But um, look. Two things, one, yeah, you can go to the TED Talk, you can go to my website, um, thebucketlistguy.com, uh, and I can hook you up with the bucket, the My Bucket List Blueprint. Now, start creating your bucket list on the back of that. That'll give you the inspiration. But what we're doing now, because I'm only one person, we've got bucket list coaches now yeah. running around the world. Uh, at this point in time, we've got bucket list coaches in, in uh, Mexico, Australia, US, uh, Canada, Costa Rica, uh, oh, over, over in Europe as well. Um, and they're now helping me, because me as a speaker, which is my main modality, mm. I can only affect so many people. I talk about a lot about legacy too, and I can only help so many people as a speaker to, to those people. Um, so now we've, got, we've licensed out what I do, so now they're doing what I've been doing for all these years, and they're getting out, out, this message out there into their communities, which is really special. But at the end of the day, take some time, coach or no coach, and um, go through the My Bucket List Blueprint, and I'll quickly run through it if you want. Yeah, no, please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, and this will just, you know, don't don't expect to get all the answers straight away, because as you know, I've, I've given this to people in my keynote seminars, and then I have everyone leave just going, what, I don't, what, what, what do I do here? And then I said, look, keep a notepad and a pen next to you for the next seven, two hours, because those, those ideas will come. Look, it's called the My Bucket List Blueprint. So it's M-Y, it's an acronym, M-Y Bucket List. Um, M stands for meet a personal hero. Who do you want to meet before your time is up? Y stands for your proud achievements. You want to want to be really proud of before your time is up. Could be a, some sort of award or an education level, accolade, designing, building your own house, whatever, having kids. Um, B, B <laughs> uh, buy that special something, whether it be for yourself or for someone else. Um, that's the only materialistic part of this. Me being a minimalist, I don't have a lot of stuff. I love buying stuff for other people. U stands for ultimate challenges. So I say on the other side of a bucket, it could be just a 5K run, doesn't have to be a bloody marathon. Um, but it's got to be a stretch for you. You know, that's that's what it's all about. So I say it's, you know, a bucket list is about, not just about the tick, it's about the journey of the person and the growth of the person on that journey towards that tick. But more importantly, it's about the person that exists on the other side, the person that we don't know yet. That's yeah. called your potential. And that's what we want to help. You, that's what you do as well. We want to help people explore, expand that potential. You know what I mean? And that's that puts smiles on people's face. That's what you want for your kids. Yeah, and I suppose as coaches, we're like the bucket list guys for business. Totally. So they totally. don't exactly know where their business is going. We help them figure it out. Yeah, and you're all you, you guys are the masters at um, pe helping people scale, leverage, and to yeah. create more time flow, create more cash flow. But then, what do they do then? And that's the thing. It's actually. The bigger the why, the bigger the stuff they want to do. They'll file forward faster. Exactly, because they'll, 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 get create, it done. they'll create the business that yep. will facilitate that. Yep, yep. So you, ultimate challenges. Uh, C, conquer a fear. Uh, it could be public speaking for a lot of people. And, and if I had more time yesterday, I'd nearly drag that lady up to speak in front of 800 <laughs> people, but she might have weed herself. Um, but I have done it before. Uh, K, kind acts for others. So it, it, it's very altruistic as well. You've got to, you've got to be thinking as, a lot of people see bucket list as, oh, it's all about me, it's selfish, but I, you know, flip it, it's also selfless. Exactly. It's all about the effect that you can have on your kids, on your community, on your ecosystem as I well. I use B1G1 for that. Yeah, 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 spot on. Um, K, contacts for others. E, express yourself. You know, new tattoos. It could be writing a book, a blog. Uh, you know, uh, it could be art, photography. Uh, you know, I'm a 44 year old man with a freaking mohawk. For God's sake, you know, just express yourself. Yes, and at um, least you still got the hair for the mohawk. Yeah, yeah. And when you become a bucket list coach, we're going to have to get you some sort of 
wig going on. Wig, yeah, so yeah. Uh, mohawk wig, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's part of part of the tribe, part of the cult that we're. Um, no, uh, K Kindness Brothers, C Kong and Fan. What do we get? E Express Yourself. T Take Lessons. What are uh, some skills that you want to learn before your time is up? I'm learning Spanish right now. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, not going very well, but that's not the point. So, and all these have got to have an end point as well. So I want to be have a, a fluent conversation in Spanish. That's my, that's my thing in Spain. When's your end point? Uh, it is in August. Cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm. So in Hamilton Island, hammering it. You're going to be speaking Spanish. Oh, yeah, yeah we. Yeah. No, that's French. <laughs> oh, I've got to go back to the drawing board. Um. T, take lessons, what are we up to? L, now this is a big one. This is the big one for me, for the bucket list coaches. Uh, so I mean, L is leave a legacy, right? Um, leave a legacy, B1, G1, classic yeah. example, Tom's shoes. Ex- oh, great that's example, a great one, you yeah. Know, like Brad, what Brad's doing with the um, Action Coach Foundation. Yeah. What I'm doing with the bucket list coaches, and I want to make a real impact, and so people are talking about what we're doing. This could be a business, it could be a philosophy, it could be a, it's a movement a or, or whatever it is. Yeah. But start thinking about laying the foundations for this now is really important. How are you going to be remembered 50 years from now, 10 years from now? You know, I say, I said yesterday, the ultimate KPI is how many people are at your funeral. Um, leave a legacy. Oh, I personal favourite, idiotic stuff. Just because yeah, stop just growing up and getting serious. Well, you got no problem, mate. But um, the idiotic stuff that just gives us license to be uh, to do whatever. You know, there's a backpacker in it, all of us still. Absolutely. <laughs> S S is satisfy a curiosity. That's where shit gets weird. Yes. S. What do you want to taste? Touch, smell, feel, experience that you haven't before. Before your time is up. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and all that goes into the gutter. <laughs> anyway, S and the last one is T. Travel adventures. No, we're Pretty big on that. Yeah, we're big on that as well. Pretty big, you know. Like, but, but people are like, all right. Um, oh, but Mount, you know, Mount Base Camp or Machu Picchu or London if you're in Australia, you know, like. Um, they're so expensive and it, and it takes a lot of time and yeah but but you really want to go like it's so the thing is if a person is diagnosed with cancer yeah. let's get serious they suddenly pivot on a dime they they suddenly they, they suddenly reprioritize you know things in their life they suddenly find the resources necessary to do the things that they want to do yeah. in a large number of cases and a good friend of mine had a had a sort of Grade four tumor in his brain. Yep. Pivoted, has shrunk the tumor. It'll be gone within a year. Yep. Actually, his whole approach to life is totally different now. Well, it's interesting how that happens, isn't yeah. it? You know, like like neuroplasticity is a, is a huge field. I'm, a field I'm interested in, and just how the brain can change itself. Um, unfortunately, guys, you know, as you know, mate. Unfortunately, it takes such a emotional freaking slap for us to wake up and, and really act act accordingly. And I remember now, my, my job here is just to wake people up before any such diagnosis. And I remember waking up when you said back in South Africa, most people die at 40 but live to 80. No, most, uh, the title of my keynote, which sometimes gets used is People are dying at 40 and getting buried at 80. Yeah. So they li- you know, the midlife crisis. That you know, there's a lot of people. I, you know, like the movie. I see dead people. <laughs> you know, we see them. You know, we can go in any major city and we just see. You know, they're, they're just existing, not living. And you wouldn't wish that upon your your worst enemy, or well, maybe some. But you wouldn't wish that upon anyone. And um, and I see it everywhere, mate. You know, I'm more attuned to it, but. Just in saying this, you know, sleep people are, I know people watching your stuff won't be, uh, but I'm sure you guys watching there at home, listening to this right now, you know people that are on the treadmill of life and they're just existing. They're, they're sheeple and yeah. they're sleepwalking through their life. You know, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but 
you know, I'd hate to be one of those people that have those, you know, remember the book, The, the Top Five Regrets of the Dying? Yeah. You know, live a regret, a regret free life. That's what it's all about. So what quick tips would you give to the people find tuning in? Some, easy, find some space, go through the My Bucket List blueprint, find some stuff that floats your boat and start, start. It doesn't have to be big. This is the thing, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. It could be just something that really lights you up and then that's what it's all about, finding those little, those little things that light you up. Get a bunch of them and don't, don't go comparing, oh, mine's, mine's a crappy list compared to Pete's, you know, like he's mad. So, you know, don't, don't compare lists. This is not a, um, uh, mine's bigger than yours competition here. It's, it's whatever, and, and then, you know what? Involve other people, you know, involve your ecosystem. I like uh, families coming together. You, mate, I get I get sent stuff every single day. I'm tagged all over the place on Facebook and, and social media. And and for people who are watching this right now, if you do something cool on your bucket list and your ticket before you uh, tag us, because we want to see that. Um, we want to see the success, and we want to see more importantly the smile on your face. That's what it's all yeah, about. So I get sent videos and and photos. How cool is that? It's Fucking amazing, mate. Like, it just inspires me to play a massive game. Well, i tell you what I realised. and When I first started doing the bucket list, I noticed that my little my bucket list items were quite small. And as I started to knock them off, that dreaming really started to kick in. Well, it's the momentum and motivation. Yeah, if you totally. smash through the smaller goals, the smaller steps, um, it gives you the momentum and motivation to smash through the bigger ones. It, but it, it's, it's what you're paying attention to is really what I'm talking about. As Gary Vaynerchuk says we're in the attention arbitrage business, the attention trading. That's our, our, our whole commodity right now. The most important commodity right now is where we're placing our attention, our time. And so are you paying attention to your to-do list or and are you paying attention to your bucket list? All right, we're gonna do our to-do list, but that for a lot of people is where life stops. They're just so busy being busy on their to-do list that they're not concentrating on their bucket list until something dramatic happens. So if people want to get started, what is your website? Uh, mate, really easy. Go to www.thebucketlistguide.com. Go there, uh, put your email in there if you want to get you know, the My Bucket List Blueprint, we'll send it to you. Um, and love to hear the results. Yes. You know, hit me up on social media, mostly on Instagram, which is at Trav Bell on Instagram these days, and there'll probably be another one soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably be all talking about. But yeah, no, I love, uh, love sharing you know, the message with people and more importantly, seeing the results. So if you can relate to what we've been talking about today, head over to Borka.com and get in contact. Thank you, Trev, for coming in. And remember, failing to learn is learning to fail.